Hi everyone, John here in association with Knees Up Mother Brown. Visit KUMB.com. The link is in the description below for all the latest West Ham news, stories and opinions. Today's video is in reaction to Arsenal 3, West Ham United 1. If you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get first dibs on the videos. So let's go straight into the team sheet as we always do. So in goal was Fabianski with the back four of Fredericks, Balbuena, Diop and Masuaku with Sanchez and Wilshire as the midfield in front of them and also Snodgrass, Anderson and Antonio with today's captain Marco Anatovic. And on the sub bench was Adrian, Rice, Zabaleta and Obiang with Yarmolenko, Neves and Hernandez aka Chikorito. So as you can see, it was a little bit of a strange one there in terms of what everybody was hoping. I'm um, not entirely sure why Antonio got the nod over Yarmolenko. Not sure why Ogbonna was dropped for uh, Diop. I did say Ogbonna and Diop in my preview video, but I'm not sure why Balboa and Diop was the option for him but fair enough that's what happened uh, first half we played I thought we played really really well both teams going going at it it was, it was definitely a game of uh, first half of both ends two ends whatever which way you want to class it uh, I thought we played well um, you know on the 11th minute um, and out of it could have had a very very good chance but he hit this he hit the side netting um, likewise for our, for Arsenal when there was a counter attack that came from a really stupidly worked uh, free kick from Snodgrass and, and Anderson um, but Fabianski made a fantastic save for that the overall possession of the game was Arsenal with 61% possession uh, yes I agree because in the second half Arsenal had more than we did uh, but just talking about the first half still it was um, we, we actually took the lead again on the 24th minute, a very good little interplay between Anatovic and Anderson. Very compact football together, and boom, Anderson puts it. Uh, sorry, Anatovic puts it in the back of the net. Um, four and a half minutes later, uh, real, real confusion from the defensive point of view from us. Uh, Monreal scores, so it's one all at half time. Uh, it should have been. It should have been 2-1 to us, if, to be honest with you, because Anatovic was called wrongly offside um, just before the break, about three or four minutes before the break, if I remember right. Uh, because at the end of the day, it was tight, but he was clearly onside. So yet again, another another example for um, video assistance referee, referees to be brought back as quickly as possible. We saw that earlier this morning today with, um, so yeah, yeah, lunch, the lunchtime kickoff between Wolves and Man City. Um, that the Wolves goal should have been ruled out for two reasons: one, offside, and b, the uh, got the player was was technically it was deemed as a handball, but it was more ball to hand rather than hand to ball. But still, anyway, going back to the Arsenal game, um, second half, very very nervous play from West Ham, very very nervous play. Uh, Anatovic has picked up a slight knock by the looks of it, a knee problem. He was um, brought on, on for um, Hernandez came on in his place, and if I'm honest, that's when we lost the game. There was so much nerves with Hernandez up front. Um, I love the guy to bits, but he needs to work harder. I really think he needs to work harder um, in the games. The uh, Arsenal second goal was a calamity. It was a Diop own goal. And and what Danny Welbeck scored with two minutes into extra time on the 90th minute. The rest of it, from our point of view, very very shocking, um, because you know we had 13 shots on target, uh, 13 shots at goal, five on target, um, and also um, Arsenal had 17 shots and 10 on target, which is the reason why we lost the game the way that we did. Um, positives though, very positives. We're playing better football. It's getting there. Um, for everybody, please calm down with this loss. It, you know, I said I said in my in my preview game that this would either be two one, uh, three one, or four one. It ended up being three one. You know, we can't keep getting on the backs of people. And that bloke who phoned up Talksport, do me a favour, fuck off, mate. Seriously, I mean, why? Why say that when Pellegrini needs to go? We, that was two games in. We're three games in. Yes, there's thirty five games. More to go. That was a better display from West Ham than I was expecting to see, especially in the first half. Second half, we just sat back and let Arsenal come at us, and that's why we lost. And the same reason 
that we had for the same reason why we lost the game against Bournemouth as well for exactly the same thing. Once they once they equalised in the calamitous way that we that they did from our point of view, um, it was nerves from both sides. Absolutely, um, it was nerves from each game. From, and it's just it worries me. But at the same point, you can see that the the system is starting to work. It, it wouldn't be West Ham without a game of two halves, would it? Come on. I mean, seriously. You know, we, it wouldn't be. It, we, do, we see this time and time again. All the time. All the time. We should be used to it by now. There's no need to complain. Yes, OK, um, it's worrying. But at the same point, is there's really, really good positives coming in for us as well. Because at the end of the day, we can, we can score. We can score from open play. Uh, we, the connection between Anderson and the midfield is working. Wilshere is working. I hate to say it. Um, because I love Nobles, I really, really love Noble, but we had better pace in the midfield today without Noble. Um, you know, to me, that's that's my views. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the on the game, and also the um, let me know the thoughts on the squad lineup as well. Who would you have brought in as well? So. Um, Thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get first dibs on the videos. As I say, drop your comments down in the section below. Please also like the video if you feel I deserve it and please share it with everybody that you feel may want to watch this as well. Um, so thank you very much for watching. The next time you'll see me will be, hopefully, will be Tuesday night for the Everton, uh, sorry, the Wimbledon game in the League Cup. So I'll do, I'll do, I'll try and do a preview for that. And I'll also, also do a um, post-match review for that as well. So in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again at the bank, uh, towards the end of the bank holiday weekend.